Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> All right, hello. All right, guys, what's up? It's back. It's me. I'm back. I'm walking through town. I'm walking through a town, and it's actually my new found home. I moved out of the Bronx, and it's been it's been a wild ride. Right now, I'm on my way to the 350Z, which I have parked in the town because. My park and my driveway is like a really steep hill and obviously out scrape so don't want to do that um so yeah walking to 350 i have a lot of stuff in it um uh, i've been treating it like storage kind of sad but it. it's doing that thing again where it's not starting like turn the car on and it doesn't start so something's weird something weird's going on um Luckily, when I picked it up from the city with my brother, we parked it on a on a hill. As of right now, I'm just gonna go pick it up and empty out all the stuff that's inside of it into my house. All right, well, I gotta turn back around, and go back to the house, cause I forgot the keys. Luckily, I only made it about like halfway. I still gotta go all the way down there where you see those lights. Uh, so. It's been crazy, man. Crazier than this hair. I've just been all over the place trying to get things together. My apartment was falling apart, so I had to get up out of there. I just had to, had to do some work. Got to go all the way back down that way. I got a little, I got pretty far. All right, well, I found it. It was in like uh, some random box in the room where my babies were sleeping, so that was fun. Now I can go all the way back that way all right I think we're closing in on where I had it parked it's definitely a little bit different out here compared to the way I've been doing things the past seven years but I'm from a small town so kind of has that feeling of home we on Grand Street It's still there. That's another cool thing about out here is the parking is not strict whatsoever. I could have had this car parked here for a week. I could have kept it here for a month. So that's pretty sick, especially seeing that this thing is definitely too low to get into uh, my driveway. That's pretty sick. I mean, obviously, I wish I would. Just, I wish this thing would start, but that was pretty smooth. Just had it on that hill, just pushed the clutch in, had to like shake the car a little bit to break off the emergency brake, and yeah, she started rolling. So that was smooth. She started. Only downfall with parking on the hill is you can't check the fluids of your engine. So I don't want to do this next time without checking oil and shit like that like I know it's not been leaking I ain't seen no leaks back there when I was checking it and uh, everything seems fine so but yeah it's, it just sucks man like you can't check anything so I don't know how much oil is really in the car when it comes down to it I believe that's full but you get what I'm saying especially with the whole engine just being put back in for that exact reason well actually now that I think about it the oil pressure gauge on the old one was never like this high and when the car's cold started it would, it would get to like something but it wouldn't max 
max out at 120 like it does. And this maxes out at, you know, it goes way up when you're pushing the, when, when you're pushing the gas. So maybe it was just like an oil pressure problem, like the galleys. I still got to dig into that. I'll definitely do that soon and make a video out of it. But um, that might have been what happened. So that's why I get nervous with the whole, with the fluids and everything like that. If you haven't known my story, if you do, that's what's up. Thank you for subscribing. If you don't, go ahead and subscribe for me because I need more subscribers. I'm at like 80 right now, which I'm happy about. But obviously, the YouTube game has way more potential than that. So if you can get me to 90, ooh, it'll be real. So right now, I got a whole bunch of shit in this car. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of random shit in here. So I'm about to go back to the house and uh, put it in the house. After that, I gotta figure out a camera situation because doing this on the iPhone isn't fun. That's everything. Felt like I was pulling this shit out of a Mary Poppins bag. So much shit. It's all out. Now I gotta organize it real fast because the car's on and I don't want to throw any of this inside. It's dirty. Dirty skateboards and wrenches and old spark wires and starters that don't work. And just a bunch of crazy shit. So, let me act fast because this car is still on. Kept some things in the car. These are stickers that I put in this bag. This is a this is a uh, oil pressure sensor that's been in this car since I got it. Another sign that it was probably oil pressure problem that blew the engine. Uh, just some random bits that go into this car. I don't know if you know what that clear thing is, but that was one reason that might be why this car wasn't starting. But it's confirmed that it wasn't. Random bag. Bags are useful, man. I keep a lot of bags and boxes. 10 millimeter wrench. Uh, this stuff, man. I gotta get into this, man. Uh, this is black weather strip adhesive. Keys are still in here because the car's gotta stay on. Where are them keys at? Yeah, where them keys. Yeah, so kept a couple things, but gotta organize all this shit. sketchier but uh i didn't hit it too too hard i just had fun with it you know um no way i could have taped it and had you guys actually enjoy it because nothing i don't have any gopro setups or anything like that but on my way to this spot i hit something like a rock not hit something head on but just something that was on the street came up on my car let me try to put the flash on you guys so hit something all crazy it is how it works I definitely just like made y'all watch this whole video for not a lot of driving. Uh, I definitely did want to give an update on what's going on. Moving out here. 
for now. Thank you guys for watching. Please go subscribe. I promise it's gonna be a lot more drifting. It's gonna get crazier. It's gonna get funner. And I'm happy she's back on the road. So yeah, see y'all.